you make videos that you enjoy making, other people will enjoy watching them. I really, really strongly believe in that. So if you're not enjoying making videos, then don't make videos. Oh, Deva, let's go. How I started. So it started when I was still in college. That was probably about three years ago. Me and my friend. Felice, I think we were having lunch. So I asked her if she watches um, YouTube videos. I said, Hoy, nanonood ka ba na ano ng mga YouTube videos? Yung mga makeup, makeup, ganun. And then she was like, no. I'm like, why? She's like, because hindi ako makarelate. Kasi nga, yung mga products na ginagamit nila is hindi ko naman nabibili dito sa Philippines. That's where I got the idea na parang, why not make videos, you know, using local products. Ayun, dun na nag-start. And honestly, I started out using yung point and shoot na binili ng parents ko for me. Medyo hindi maganda yung quality before. Kasi of course, it's a point and shoot. What do you expect? Yung lighting na ginamit ko before was yung lampshade lang. Honestly, before, when I started it, I didn't care like about the views. Wala akong pakialam kung like 60 lang yung subscribers ko or 100 views lang yung videos ko. And what I did before was like, I I will upload a video on YouTube and then post them on my Facebook. Hindi ako na nag-upload ng videos to gain followers or to gain fans. No, actually hindi. <laughs> it was for my friends. Yun, parang tumagal-tagal na rin siya. Upload din ako ng upload. Uh, I've learned so much about the craft, about, you know, dealing with people, with haters, with bashers. And I've learned a lot. Of you have to ask yourself, do you really want to do this? It's a job. You have to be committed to it. You have to put so much time and effort to it because it doesn't just end there. You have to edit it, you have to upload it, you have to do all these <clears throat> work. Do you really want to share ideas? That's the question there. Do you really want to share your techniques in makeup if you want to do makeup? It's your girl, Mimi. So, I'm going to make it. Thank you guys for subscribing to your girl. And, kakatuwa kasi ang dalagang Filipina na video ko sa Facebook ay umabot na sa 4 million views. Kalain mo nga naman itong mukhang ito. Oo. Nakakatuwa kasi hindi ko talaga in-expect. <laughs> So, papakita ko sa inyo yung lugar. Siyempre, sinama ko kayo. So, ito yung villa niya. Hey, yan ang aming view. Alam niya naman yung mga gusto ko. Ganyan, diba? Puro gubat. Nandito. Pwede na ba ako mag-bang? Nakabang sa'yo, diba? Ako din, ma. Gusto ko niyan. Ganyan. Okay ka na dyan. Gusto ko naman. Eh, gusto ko din mag-baguets. You know, mukhang 15. Gagalitan ka na manager niya. Ikaw na kaya manager ko. Parang si Chris Jenner. Minsan siya na yung nagdi-deal. Yeah guys, kapag may mga inquiries kayo, message nyo lang si Mama Alawi. Ginom tayo ng inom. Drink all you can. This is Mr. Beast, in case you don't, you're one of the few people on YouTube who doesn't know Mr. Beast. I hate when people... Okay, well, I started in um, on this channel, or my channel, 2013. I've been doing it since I was 13 years old. And when I first started, I got 100,000 subscribers with an iPhone. And this, at the beginning of the video, just tell, like, literally, the simplest thing, just tell them why they should watch it. You know, mm -hmm. if you're putting a million Orbeez in a pool, don't start the video with you shopping for, you know, your mom's birthday present. At the beginning of the video, just say... We're gonna put a million Orbeez in this pool. And then that right there is should, you know, be at least slightly sufficient to tell people interesting stuff, yada yada. But is it something that people will genuinely wanna watch? Um, and this might be a little tangent, but one thing is a lot of creators think click through rate is just like the title and thumbnail and, and did they click it? But a lot of it too is did they enjoy your last video? You know what I mean? Like as if someone watches a video of yours and they loved it you can bet the next time you're recommended their chance of clicking is a lot higher, you know? So it's like, 
is it something that can be entertaining for a long time? Is it something that if they watch this next time, you know, they see a video of mine, will they be excited? Like, I love that last one, so I want to watch the next one. Like, those two type of things. And then obviously, you know, is it just interesting and clickable? My name is Beard Pack. Today, I'm going to make a video on how to get started on YouTube. I've been asked to make this video, I don't know how many times, I get this question all the time. How, can you give me some tips on how to get started? I, I think what I always just say is keep keep working hard and I'm sure you will succeed. But I thought not today. I, I wanted to actually give something more constructive, uh, some some more help than just that. Um, I've been doing a lot of streams lately and everyone is keep asking me, how do I get started? What kind of tips do you have? And I thought, okay, fine, I'll make it, okay? Who am I to, to tell you how to it's not like I know all the answers and I really think everyone has a different answer to the question on how to grow on YouTube so just take this as from my own perspective also know that I don't know everything and just because I say something doesn't mean it's the rule of thumb you know that that's not the case couldn't be further from it and I started YouTube seven years ago so obviously things are different now this video probably won't be relevant for uh, most people watching but maybe it will be interesting. I don't know. <laughs> I realize this is a lot of information, but I think I saw this as a sort of me talking to myself in the past uh, and the sort of stuff that I learned through this uh, years of making videos on YouTube. And I try to keep it as uh, actual advice and constructive as possible. But I would like to finish with make YouTube with the right intention. I see so many people wanting to make YouTube videos because they want to get famous. They want to make money, uh, which is all great stuff. And YouTube really is an amazing place for, for that. But make YouTube videos because you enjoy making them. If you don't enjoy making them, you're not going to keep making them. You're just going to fall off at some point and you're going to get frustrated that uh, it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to be. If you make videos that you enjoy making it, then you can't lose. It doesn't matter if you don't get a lot of subscribers. If, Like, I was equally happy when I had a couple hundred subscribers. I thought that was equally fun just to have some people watching them. If you make videos that you enjoy making, other people will enjoy watching them. I really, really strongly believe in that. So if you're not enjoying making videos, then don't make videos.